Hi there, this is Eric Pixa with GrowZine.com. Our link there is at the bottom of the screen. Today I'm here to give you a tip on how you can use a lung room to operate two growth chambers with the same air conditioning equipment and CO2 supplementation equipment. With this particular device here, the Crossfire CO2 monitor, we can also monitor uh, two stations and we could also control them independently if we wanted. But in this particular model, which uses a lung room, we're saving time and money and duplication of services, where we're only going to need one CO2 supplementation device and one air conditioner versus uh, two of each. And these can be your pricier pieces of equipment. That money is better spent on other things, including accurate CO2 monitoring and dispersion. So I'm going to plug this in right now, and it should fire up. And we've got two probes set up, sensor one, sensor two. This is a nice function because most units only allow us to have one. And again, we can control two zones. And so it's just warming up. It's going through its warm-up uh, program. These come pre-programmed, by the way, but we've changed this one to suit our purposes a little bit. Now, you'll also notice here there's two outputs. So we could monitor one zone and have an output for that zone and monitor a second zone and have the output for that second zone. That's really a cool little detail. Now, so we're going through warm-up. It's showing zero. Okay. Here in chamber two, we have a light on and we're reading at about 600 or less parts per million. Chamber one, the lights are off. It's the dark cycle. Now it does not hurt your plants to have CO2 come in during the dark cycle. So both of these chambers are sharing air from this lung room that I'm standing in. So we want to increase the CO2 levels. We're gonna use relay two in this case because it's the one with the light on. And you can see it's demanding uh, more CO2 because we've requested that it be supplemented to 1200 parts per million in the air. So here's what's gonna happen. We plug that in and you can hear that the CO2 supplementation device kicking on. And I'm gonna get out of the way now and let you see what's going on here. So both of these chambers are connected to the same lung room. The lung room is where the CO2 is being generated and then dispersed via the air handling system, which of course is hooked up to the air conditioner. And it's going to disperse the carbon dioxide gas that's safely and cleanly uh, and very efficiently created here in the lung room. And slowly you'll see the levels rising. Now. Once these levels are at the 1200 parts per million that we have it programmed to do, they'll tend to stay there a lot more. Right now we're going from uh, ambient levels, which are commonly about 600 parts per million. So, and we're going to double that into about the 1200 parts per million range. Now, this is safe to be in uh, if you're watering your plants or working in your grow room. Your yoga studio probably actually has a higher CO2 level in there when everyone's in a closed room and working out and sharing the same air. Uh, anything up 4,000 parts per million or higher is very dangerous to yourself, your pets, and even your crop potentially. Uh, so try and keep it less than 1,200 parts per million. If you feel dizzy at all or lightheaded in the grow room, uh, shut off the CO2 before you go work in there. And again, just make sure that the levels are safe. So you can see we're starting to climb up now. We're getting into uh, the boosted levels. And with these types of levels, you can expect to see about 25% more yield at the higher end. I would say at least 10 to 15%. And if you normally veg for four weeks, you can expect to veg for three and maybe even take about seven days off in the bloom phase of your garden. So this also helps to cut down on your power bill per crop while increasing your yield. 
Plants tend to grow healthier and faster, and most growers, when they're using CO2 properly, see fewer insect problems as well. Well, we're getting near 1100 parts per million in the chamber that has the light on at the moment, but you can also see in the chamber with the light off, the parts per million is also climbing there as well. Now, it's not detrimental, and if those plants in chamber one aren't using CO2 because it's dark in there, it is not robbing the plants in chamber two where the light is active and they do want to use CO2. So as long as you have efficient air handling and duct work, you're not going to be wasting any CO2 with this method. And again, this is using a lung room. We're able to use only one air conditioner and one CO2 generator to uh, create the optimal growing environment in both chambers one and two. And the crossfire is a great way to do it. All right, so here we are at the business end of our Crossfire CO2 monitor and controller. One of the reasons it's called the Crossfire is because it's a dual beam technology. This sensor is very important. It monitors the temperature in here, so if things start to get too warm, it will not allow the CO2 burner to come on. That's a safety feature. But the way CO2 uh, monitors work, or snippers as they're sometimes called, is they're sending out an infrared beam into the air, which measures against the air density, a pre-programmed value. And this gives the CO2 readout. Now, like a lot of bulbs, this bulb gets dimmer over time. So the reading becomes false, which means your CO2 monitor needs to be sent in usually about once a year for recalibration. But by having a second beam, one to measure the output or intensity of the one that's doing the reading and then compensating for it in the programming in the controller we saw, we do not need to send it in for frequent calibration and it helps you know that all your readings are accurate. Now you might have also noticed the dehumidi dehumidifier rather behind me. Each of the chambers should have its own dehumidifier because this is going to vary. It'll tend to get a little drier when the lights are on and of course more humid when the lights are off. But we can still get away with using one CO2 supplementation device, two sensors, one controller and one air conditioner and successfully operate two sealed growing environments. This has been Eric Bixa with Growzine. So for other great growing tips and tricks, please be sure to visit growzine.com and sign up for our free magazine. It comes out every two or three weeks to the email of your choice. Hope to see you again soon.